Dr. Robert Randolph Turner embodied such love, respect, and humility that the recognition of those qualities in Carson Newman employees is named for him. Were it not already reserved in his memory, it could well honor our 2014 recipient, Dr. Diana Deering Carroll. When I think of Dr. Turner and I think of uh, Diana Carroll, I think of them as always smiling, never saying an unkind word. Dr. Carroll's abiding interest in Carson Newman began early. It was fostered by her parents' not subtle hints, like countless drives through campus after church on Sunday, just so their girls could see where they would one day go to school. True to those parental wishes, Dr. Carroll made the most of her college years, from rat week to graduation. By the time she earned her home economics degree in 1969, she was a Cali, an SGA officer, member of the Student National Education Association, and selected to who's who in American colleges and universities. After Carson Newman, she earned a master's degree from the University of Tennessee and then a PhD from UNC Greensboro. She accepted a faculty position at East Carolina University, broken by one year of teaching at Morristown West High School. She then came home to stay in 1977. Diana and I came to Carson Newman at the same time, and believe it or not, one of the first people we met was Dr. R. R. Turner. As with her undergraduate years, Dr. Carroll has made the most of her four-decade teaching career at Carson Newman. She's taught consumer services, directed Duncan Hall, and advised Kappa Omicron Nu. I think we could say that Diana Carroll is Duncan Hall. Duncan Hall, first a resident management lab and since 2008, the Cooperative Management and Housing Laboratory. Duncan Hall, when we came to Carson Newman College, had good bones. It needed a lot of work. She has overseen $180,000 in renovations. She has also worked with donors to add a hardscaped entertainment area and an ADA compliant accessibility entrance. And since 2012, she has readapted Duncan into a green friendly, sustainable facility used for campus guests. Her efforts have garnered four grants from the Juanita Fazola Foundation, totaling $75,000. An accredited financial counselor, she began leading family budget and debt recovery sessions as a personal ministry to others the year she joined Carson Newman. I just remember the classes she taught were very, very practical. And, and as I have gotten older, I've realized just what core foundational values she was instilling in us. And we did just think, oh, she's just this sweet woman. But there was much, much more to her. Dr. Carroll has advised the Kappa Omicron Nu Honor Society since 1980. Under her tutelage, the Beta Xi chapter has won numerous National Chapter Excellence Awards. Carson Newman has 24 of those awards more than any other chapter in the United States. In 1991, Dr. Carroll won the organization's inaugural Outstanding Advisor Award and received it again in 2005. She is the group's only twice-honored advisor and saved seven years of grad school and working out of state, she has served as a pianist at Alpha Baptist Church since 1961. Diana Carroll plays for church services twice every Sunday, once on Wednesday, for practically every funeral, wedding, and any other significant event, cantatas, etc., that Alpha Baptist Church might have. At every stage in life, I have kept my eyes upon Dr. Carroll, and I'm just so grateful to have someone to constantly be a mentor and, and be someone I can be inspired by and look up to, and um, she, she always makes me feel so special. Like Dr. Turner himself, Dr. Diana Deering Carroll returned home to her alma mater and has ensured that the spirit of academic excellence, love for her students, and Christian commitment thrives at Carson Newman.